Welcome to this video which will give you an overview of features and functions and will finally assist you in operating the economy and mega service units with automatic control. We have divided this video into four sections – features, benefits and services, preliminary work and setting into operation, main operational functions and finally, overview of special functions. Let's begin with section 1. A typical DLO gas service cart contains compressor for gas recovery up to atmospheric pressure, storage in liquid state and filling operations, suction pump or vacuum compressor for gas recovery, particle and dry filter for gas purification, vacuum pump for evacuation of air. All these assemblies allow the following functional operations. SF6 recovery down to less than 1 millibar storage in liquid form, venting of gas compartments with ambient air, evacuation of air down to less than 1 millibar, filling gas compartments with SF6 up to operating pressure, purifying and drying the SF6 gas during the recovery and filling operation. In operation, DLO maintenance units are extremely easy to operate. All operating elements and control monitoring systems are well arranged on the front panel. Process control is achieved automatically. Gas flow of each process is indicated on the panel. Adequate safety functions are included to prevent faulty operation. When using a DLO service cart, you benefit from the following features. Quality made in Germany. Design, engineering and manufacturing by DLO Germany. State-of-the-art SF6 recovery down to 1 millibar. SF6 gas handling in full compliance with IEC regulations. Oil-free components in SF6 gas circulation. So there is no contamination of the SF6 gas. Gas tightness in every application and process. Best-in-class leakage rate of less than one-tenth of a millibar per second. No emissions through vacuum tight and self-closing couplings on the service cart. Maintenance friendly design. DLO is proud to offer a wide range of worldwide on-site services, including everything from preventive equipment maintenance to replacement parts and gas handling services. A comprehensive distribution and service network ensures closeness to customers worldwide. The following video sequences provide operational assistance in commissioning work. However, please note, governing documents for the commissioning of a service unit is the respective operating manual. Please pay attention to the safety notes. Only properly trained personnel should operate the equipment in Europe with EC certification only. Before you start working, please pay attention to the following instructions. Ensure to use the correct voltage which is indicated on the type plate. Connect the device and apply voltage. In delivery condition, the gas cart is filled with SF6. Please pay attention to the green label with filling weight indicated. Accessories such as hoses are supplied filled with air. Now that all preparatory work is finished, connect the device and turn on the main or reversing switch. The control system is then booted. Please check correct direction of rotation. If phase sequence is wrong, there is an error message on the display. Then turn the reversing switch. Select language and parameters required. Define the desired weight and pressure units in the menu. Set up the scales as per bottle or vessel weight in the supervisor menu. Now the weighing device is immediately ready for use. Before actual operation, Put the weighing device into working position. Put the cylinder on the scales and fix the lace. Set cylinder tear weight and maximum filling weight. Record the weight for the purpose of SF6 gas monitoring to track the quantities handled. 
The next step is to recover the SF6 gas that was used for the transport filling. The gas must be reclaimed to less than 1 millibar. Start recovery process and then check the final vacuum after recovery. Accessories such as hoses are supplied filled with air. Therefore, the next important step is to evacuate air from connection hoses to less than 1 millibar in order to prevent mixture of air and SF6. Remove hose from coupling 101 or 106. Please also evacuate the bottle connecting hose. Make sure that the ball valve is closed. Attention! In case a new and empty storage cylinder is used, it has to be evacuated from air also. When applying used hoses, make sure that no SF6 gas is inside. Before the gas is recovered, check the gas quality at the gas compartment to make sure that all the gas complies with IEC regulation 60480 for SF6 reuse on site. If gas quality is unknown or out of IEC 60480 specification, use a pre-filter unit between the service cart and gas compartment to prevent contamination of the gas cart. To do so, connect the hose between service cart and pre-filter unit and establish connection between pre-filter unit and gas compartment. Ensure that couplings are adequately tightened. For identification of connection hoses used between gas compartment and pre-filter unit, apply special markings on the hose. Open the gas bottle and ball valve from the storage connection hose. Start the recovery process on the touch panel. Gas is recovered down to less than 1 millibar. Note, the recovery process is stopped automatically when the storage vessel is full. After recovery process, remove the pre-filter unit and store it in a vacuum condition. After gas recovery, the gas compartment is under vacuum and has to be vented for subsequent maintenance work. Attention, use gas-free hoses only. Then proceed as follows. Connect hose to coupling 101 at the service cart and to the gas compartment. Check the vacuum at the panel and ensure that there is no SF6 in the gas compartment. Open ventilation ball valve 201. Gas compartment is flooded with air. Check atmospheric pressure at the inlet gauge. Close the ball valve after venting. Important note, evacuate and uncouple the hose and store it in vacuum condition in order to prevent mixing of air and gas in subsequent operations. Now the gas compartment is ready for maintenance. After maintenance work, the gas compartment has to be evacuated from air. To do so, connect the hose.
Important note, only use hoses exempt from gas. Start evacuation less than one millibar. Check if the vacuum remains stable. In case of increasing vacuum after a certain time, repeat the evacuation process. When the gas compartment has been successfully evacuated from air, it is to be filled with SF6 up to operating pressure. First, ensure that the gas quality complies with switchgear manufacturer's specification. Or, if unknown, refer to IEC 60480 regulation. Observe maximum filling pressure of the gas compartment. Set maximum filling pressure and check if gas quantity is sufficient. Start the process by pressing the filling button. In case of automatic function control, the end button is activated. Please note, the processor stops automatically if there is not sufficient SF6 in the cylinder. After that, remove the hose from the gas compartment. Then recover residual gas from the hose down to less than one millibar and transfer it into a cylinder. We recommend to store the hose in a vacuum condition. The Economy and Mega Series with add-on feature special functions offer comfortable operation on site, such as SF6 recovery from the filters for quick exchange of filters, recovery of the service cart to transport pressure, evacuation of air from the filters, evacuation of air from the service cart before filling operation. Purifying the SF6 gas in the service cart to eliminate moisture and decomposition products. Pressure test of the compressor. Recovery of overpressure from gas compartment. Filling of external cylinders. Automatic switch-off function is available as an option. For more detailed information, please refer to the operating manual of the L-Series. Now, we have finally covered each aspect of how to successfully operate a DLO service cart of the Economy and Mega Series.